Okay, so I have here a virtual laboratory for calorimetry. Unfortunately, hindi siya kaya place a phone. So, uh, I will demonstrate. Uh, I will show the experiment and then you prepare a laboratory report just like the usual report you have been making using the guided inquiry approach. It's just that this time I will do the manipulation. Okay, so here uh, I have a beaker here. This should be a weigh scale but it, it shows here uh, temperature. This is called the calorie meter. This is not easy to manufacture because uh, it has to be insulated. Okay? Ay, ito, yung mga metals na to, insulator actually itong mga to. And then you have here a digital thermometer. This is the mixer to distribute the heat energy. Okay, so I will uh, take a solid here. So this is a solid. I will choose an unknown solid. Your job is to calculate the specific heat capacity of this unknown compound. Now I chose one compound. It's a solid and uh, okay, let me make 25 grams of it. And it's at 20 degrees Celsius. And then I will choose a liquid. Water is only the only available. Uh, I'll fill it to about 250 uh, grams. That's equivalent to 250 milliliters. And then let's mix. Let's mix them up. There and observe the temperature. The final temperature is let's wait. Let's wait for this. Okay, that's about 14 degrees Celsius. Take note of this. The mass is 25 grams. Temperature is 20 degrees Celsius of this unknown compound. Water is 250 grams and its temperature is still 20 degree celsius when you mix them it shows uh, 14 degrees celsius final temperature let's do another one liquid unknown liquid one set it to 200 grams temperature set it to 65 degrees celsius so it's a liquid an ethanol for example uh, we know the specific heat capacity of ethanol this one take note of 2.46 joules per gram degree celsius let's increase the mass to 200 grams uh, temperature let's make it uh, colder 30 degrees celsius and then we run the experiment we put this uh, Unknown liquid here, check the, the resulting temperature or final temperature, and uh, let's see what we can learn if we can calculate the specific heat of the unknown liquid. Start, and we can have a graph. Look at the graph of temperature. This is the unknown liquid. This is the ethanol. Okay, so the resulting temperature is 46.76 degrees Celsius. Alright, now you can calculate for a specific heat. This is uh, how we calculate for a specific heat of an unknown substance. If we try to profile them, for example, a new substance from Mars, okay? We take a sample of it to describe it further. We measure its specific heat performing this uh, uh, experiment.